everyone welcome to a new vlog i've been home now for a week and a day a week and two days since we got back from america i think i've almost done all the unpacking i don't think chris has done his stuff yet his suitcase is still in the living room but we are nearly there and of course the first thing we had to do when we got home as well was finish taking down the christmas decorations that was a bit depressing i'm i'm annoyed with myself that i didn't get all that done before we left so the decorations have come off but in the kitchen we still have that christmas tree a couple of bits and bobs and that christmas tree i never did sort out a timer for the lights that were going over the dresser so they've just been on permanently <laughs> this whole time yeah the dresser display although well, it's got a bit mucked up is still there and where we did pack everything up as best as we could and stack it in the corner the cats thought we'd made them a lovely sort of playground and now it's all fallen over and spilling all over the floor so i've got a lot to do now they went in the roof day before yesterday it's bizarre that we are now in march it'll be like no time at all before those christmas decorations are coming out again yeah it just feels like we missed winter we definitely missed the coldest months and the worst months there were a couple of storms here that we missed a tree has come down in the field so i need to get out there and start collecting as much kindling as i possibly can from it before the, I don't think the farm owners have realised that it's happened yet so yeah we'll collect as much wood from, from that tree as we can before they come along and they'll probably just burn it it's so frustrating when I'm gonna burn it as well but I can use it to heat my house and they'll just make a bonfire in the field oh it's also annoying we don't have a chainsaw that we, we could just clear it out their way for them and make a nice pile of logs that we could use next year <laughs> but it's so nice to be back in the British countryside I definitely think Connecticut and New York and all that New England area they must have a much longer and colder winter than we do here because there were really no signs of spring there at all but here if we've come home and there are daffodils in the garden I think I've missed our snowdrops but I did see snowdrops on our walk the other day so there's still a few around but yeah it's nice to see the first signs of spring and today is sunny it's really it's really nice it's been quite a crappy week really weather wise but um yeah it feels quite springy today which is nice so yeah i think i mentioned about loki not being very well in my last vlog and we came home and yeah he, he's not very well we were quite shocked actually how much weight he'd lost but he still had quite a swollen abdomen from from flu from excess fluid because his heart isn't working properly so he's now on some heart pills as well as some pills to help drain the fluid we had to up the dose of the fluid ones and we think that caused the diarrhea that we've been dealing with for like four days he just obviously didn't have any control it was all over the living room every morning we'd get up couple of times in the day so it's been a bit of a nightmare week dealing with that but the problem was we changed three things at the same time we gave him puppy food for the extra energy we gave him the new heart pills and we upped his dose on the fluid pills so we weren't quite sure which one was causing it but we cut down we did a bit of googling and cut down on the fluid pills back down to four a day that seems to have done the trick and fingers crossed we've had two diarrhea free days <laughs> this is a lovely update for you i'm sure you're enjoying it but the living room rug has gone outside <laughs> so i don't know if i'm going to bother trying to clean it or just replace it we shall see at the moment i'm just letting the rain give it a little bit of a wash he he seems a lot better today the last couple of days actually so fingers crossed he's feeling better and um yeah you okay loki <laughs> so i'm back to sewing which is really nice having six weeks away with no sewing has been um i've missed it i've missed it but it's always that i'm always scared to get back into it so i'm trying to finish this red dress again i was hoping i was going to finish it before we left i wanted to take it and do a photo shoot in america but never mind didn't quite get it done because i'm doing a new design haven't done this before this particular style so i'm working out as i go along and it takes a bit longer but i really need to get it finished because i wanted to get another ball gown done before 
this weekend, this coming weekend, I've got a stall at the Glastonbury Fairy Fair, which is one of Karen Kay's fairy events. So I'm really looking forward to that. I've shown it two or three times perhaps in a vlog before because we always go and visit. There's always a really lovely variety of interesting craftspeople and artists there. So it's going to be quite cool to be a part of it and be behind the scenes this time. I'm curious to see how well I do. I don't know, the pitch isn't cheap, but it's not far from me. Glastonbury is just down the road and it's also going to be fairly quick for me to set up. It should be just a clothes rail and hook the clothes on the rail and set up a, um, and maybe a couple of baskets underneath. So even though it's uh, not a cheap fare to do, it's less effort on my part. It's not like putting up a whole gazebo and Obviously I won't have much stock I'll be able to sell, so anyway, we'll see how we do, but I shall take you on to see that. So I've just got three and a half days left to get ready for that. I think I'm more or less over the jet lag. I'm still waking up a lot later in the morning and finding it difficult to fall asleep, but um, it's so nice to be back in our own bed. It's so much more comfortable. <laughs> our own pillows, American pillows. I just don't get on with them at all. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you again soon. Right, so my task for today is to set up the clothes rail. I've just got it out from the garage. I just need to bring it in and test how many clothes I can actually realistically get on there. Yeah. There's no one here, thank you. It's just me. I think we've got it sorted. This seems to be a nice amount of clothes. I'm not overcrowding it. I think that's spacious enough to look classy. It does mean I've got limited amount of more affordable items, just these fairy ones on the end. But I think, I think that's the way to go. Particularly as there is a fairy ball in the evenings. I'm hoping I might sell one or two of the ball gowns. Oh, they look so pretty hung up like that. <laughs> that makes me quite proud if I'm allowed to say so. Good morning, it is the day of the fairy fair and I'm just busy setting it up but there's people about so I'm not going to vlog any longer. <laughs> I'm quite exhausted, but it's so fun seeing everybody. So I'm just behind this curtain. I'm backstage at the moment in the town hall. So let me take you through. So we're missing so, two pieces. Oh no. <laughs> right, let's start looking. Yeah. Sorry, Loki, you enjoying the fusses, Loki.
Loki, a nice little boy. 